This is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. So let's get into reviewing this product. To start off, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra's base model is 256GB, whereas last year in the S22 Ultra it was 128 And I'm glad they made this change because it just makes more sense with certain features like the 8K video just taking up a lot of space generally. But this is no ordinary 256GB. It's the fastest flash memory in the world. This means it can read and write files two times faster than the previous year all while using less power. Samsung also went ahead and upgraded the speakers from the S22, improving the audio quality by quite a lot. The S23 being a new phone, you do get a new piece of software when you get it. It's a pretty minimal change to the previous software, but it does have the new improvement of Bixby. Bixby is Samsung's assistant, or AI, that can now answer phone calls for you, cloning your voice, making it seem like it's just you picking up the phone. It literally can speak as you. The S23 has had several improvements compared to its previous year. It now features a 200MP main camera, and a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip. And it's customized just for Samsung phones. This chip promises the fastest performance you can get on any phone. It's almost 40% faster than the Galaxy S22 Ultra. This new and improved Samsung Galaxy phone also has improved battery life. It still features the same 120Hz refresh rate and 6.8 inch display. So the design compared to the S22 is fairly similar, but there are a few little changes. For one, the new S23 features this new Gorilla Glass Victus 2 on the rear and the front of the phone. The design of the phone is fairly, fairly similar to the previous year, and you can't tell much of a difference by looking at them, apart from a few um, edges and the thickness in the camera, but it doesn't really bother me. And I say this because the improvements they've made to the chip and to the camera is just outstanding. Along with that Gorilla Glass Victus 2 front and back, it also has a aluminum frame. It holds a nano SIM and eSIM or dual SIM. Just like the S22 Ultra, it's IP68, dust, and water resistant. Like we mentioned earlier, the base version is 256 GB, but it goes all the way up to 1 terabyte. And the resolution remains the same as the S22 Ultra at 1440 by 3088. You do get a couple of uh, video resolution options, and they're all great options. You get 8K at 30fps or 4K at 60fps. And there's quite a few colors available for this phone. There's the Phantom Black, Green, Cream, Lavender, Graphite, Sky Blue, Lime, Red, and a BMW M edition. For me, as of today, this is the best phone you can get on the market. It's outstanding battery life, camera performance, and graphics performance just does it all for me. That is basically everything you need to hear if you're just looking for a short review that gives you, you know, all the major points, all the new changes compared to the previous year. For me, this is my phone of the year. So far.